so what I'm gonna do around here is I want to make this little bridge thing just to make it look slightly better and I'm just gonna build it on camera I'm gonna talk a bit and I'm gonna try to make it short and sweet so yeah I've been not playing a lot of survival minecraft like mainly it's because I, I play if you saw my video you probably didn't of my land to freedom server that was a server I played on for just a few days. Um, I got a lot done. I went, even went to the end. But the pro I had a lot of fun playing on that server and all, but the server admin made it a public server. One of my better friends, Rich, quit that server, so I don't want to play on it either. And he completely messed up, so when you die at spawn, you have to like, do something weird to to get back into the world and it was just a bad server and um that was one of the things that made me really careful about the servers I apply to now. I'm trying to get in a server called Black Clan server. Yeah that's a nice server in my opinion. But for now I'm just gonna have fun in this world and all. I started building this castle actually um one night in like August something it's like, it was a long time ago when I started building this. It was just, um... Uh... I thought it was starting to get really bored. Um... I had built just about everything you can build in... Well, that I knew at the time. Now I know a lot more things about Minecraft. But that at the time, I built just about everything I knew how to build at that time in my world. I had a farm for just, just about everything I wanted. So, it kind of defeated the purpose of playing Minecraft, so. I stopped playing on that world, and now I just have nothing, no motivation to continue. I mean, the two things I didn't have on that village was, uh, in that village, in that world was, uh, a village. Well, I had, like, NPC villages spawn, obviously. I just mean, like, I didn't build one of those fancy villages, and... I was, that's when I discovered how to install mods, and that kind of destroyed the game for me. Because once you have mods, it's just like too many items, and it ruins the fun for you, yet it frustrates you without it. I mean, so that's one thing I, I should warn all you guys of. of um, before you install mods, be really careful. Make sure you actually want that mod. Because if it makes the game too much easier, like too many items, it just wrecks the game for you. Um, which is another reason why I want to apply for a server. Because I can't cheat on a server, and that's really good, right? Because the moment you start cheating, you just can't stop. It's like crazy. I, I, I don't know how um, to stop cheating, really. I mean... Like, that's that's why I'm doing this in creative, so I don't feel guilty about myself. I don't feel bad and cheap, because, like, like, um, when normally you need a scaffold thing to build something, instead you just turn yourself into creative and build it. And that ruined the game for me. Also, I had unwillingness to play in survival mode. That also, um, no, not, not survival mode, but in, on a difficulty, because I felt like... It just made me feel nervous and it made caving in the lane. And that also kind of ruined the game for me because those are two things I used to really enjoy about Minecraft. Um, but it it just kind of stole them away from me, cheats and like all those kind of things. I was like, okay, if I don't feel like caving, well then I'll just cheat my resources in. So it, it started getting really not fun. And that's when I decided, okay, um, first of all, I'm sick and tired of being all alone in this, this world. Second of all, um, I just, uh, no, wait, I'm stumbling over my words. Second of all, I really, um, okay, never mind everything I just said, because it made no sense. So... I told you my plan this in the previous video uh, for this, what I'm building right now. And in case you don't know, I want to put a big farm in it. 
well, at least part part of it, because this is a massive tower. It's the biggest one so far. I believe it's bigger than that one over there. And I'm gonna have it be the main the main crop farms. It's gonna be a big spiral, pretty much. And I'm gonna have a huge section of carrots, a small section of wheat, and a small section of potatoes. And once I'm done this particular level uh, of the of the castle, I'll be right back. Um, wait, one last thing. I also want to have a the entrance somewhere underground here, connecting to that little passageway you saw underground over there if you watched the last video. And I want to have a spiral scare staircase that goes up. So. I'll see you once I've done walling this up and start the second layer, and yeah. Hey, um, I was playing around a bit, and it turns out this isn't going to work the way I expected, because I want this to be an automatic harvest, um, but it won't work if it's a spiral, because it's too many dead spots, and the water will take the tightest curve possible, which really makes it impossible for the water to cover everything I want it to. So I just want to on camera work out something that might work. What I'm thinking now is to have the sides, like the staircases, up. And in the center, I want to have a kind of back and forth and back and forth um, system. I want it to be like this. Um, you'll see where I'm going really soon. Just one second. And there needs to be water at the sides, obviously, too. This should be, um, it should be eight blocks wide. Um, I know that's the number of blocks water travels, but that's not the point of this being eight blocks wide. Um, I'm probably not going to get a lot done in this episode, but it's okay. Um... What I wanted to do was, I want to have something like this. And I want water to drop in from the middle. Um, let's quickly make it so that that can work. It's going to be a whole line of water, so, like... Yeah, that's... It, 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 it might work. I'm going to cut again and then I'll show you what I mean once the idea is perfected. Okay guys, and so this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like from below. And just to tell you, there are gonna be crops everywhere so this isn't its finalized look. Um I just need to make sure that these half slabs um they don't mess things up. Um so I'm gonna throw a whole bunch of items in during this test so the redstone for this is going to be a little bit more less ugly than this when I'm done, but for now, um, you get to see what it really does. So. Yep, now let's go to the top and throw items and see if anything gets stuck anywhere. So, oops, I need to throw something that's in a stack, so let's grab 111 pieces of wood. And by the way, um, that's what too many items does. You can get stacked potions and all sorts of stuff with that mod, and it's one of the things that ruin the fun for the game, but it makes creative a lot better. So now let's see of all those items we threw if anything got stuck anywhere. So nothing's stuck on the half slabs. Um, it seems like that this is one giant dead zone. Oh, crap. So right now, um, it looks like back here, it's one huge dead spot. If I put wood here, it's gonna cut off the flow, yes. If I delete this... Is it dead? Is it a dead spot there? Yes. So that helps not. Hmm. Uh let's get let's get our dirt back. Um 
Oh, here's just a random question for you guys. Have you ever run out of dirt in your survival worlds? Dirt is one of those things I run out of all the time. Okay, so what I think I need to do to solve this um, dead spot problem is I simply don't need to put second row of blocks, but just uh, delete these so the items um, will fall. They'll come here, and the dead spot is back there. So it is a little bit less farm space. Let's turn this off so you can see. And by the way, if you want to imitate this, it's super simple, it's just like that. Mm, this does make it have a lot less farm space. Oops, looks like we have to find a block that we can put here. Oh, uh, let's use a sign. Mm. Oh, I can never find a sign. Okay. The one thing they need to do is they need to organize too many items. Okay. And, nope. And they should also make a, a sign when you place it. It doesn't ask you to put text, but you right click on it after you've placed on it and then you can add text. That would also be a helpful feature. Um, so yes, this is the finalized design, I guess. The, it makes the, the rice fields or whatever we're going to plant a little less perfect. It's going to be three, five, and three. Um, I could move that back one, but I'd rather have it five and three. Um, yeah, so... I think I'll do that, and then we'll be back.